Two stabbing deaths in less than 24 hours in two neighboring communities. And now police are looking at whether they're connected. A 16-year-old boy was killed on Blanche Avenue in Arlington Heights last night. And this afternoon, less than a mile away, a disabled woman was stabbed in her home. Local 12's Anjanette Levy is here to tell us why police are investigating a third crime. Anjanette. Well, Cami Lachlan, police have charged a man with robbery just houses away from the scene of 67-year-old Wanda Glenn's murder. We're not releasing the name of the boy who was killed last night because his father doesn't know that he's dead. Tonight, the crimes have neighbors left with a lot of questions. Tonight, Lachlan police and the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office removed bags of evidence from this home on Arlington Avenue. Police say Daniel Johnson robbed his family there earlier today. The house is on the same street where Wanda Glenn was stabbed to death this afternoon, leaving neighbors asking why. She was pretty much harmless. Like I say, you, you know she was defenseless. She hadn't been out of the house in three or four years, so I, I don't understand why anybody would do that. Police say the robbery and the murder of Glenn have common threads, but they won't say whether they're connected. Glenn was stabbed in the back of her neck. She hit her medical alert device, letting someone know she was in trouble. Police are also looking at whether Glenn's murder is connected to the killing of a 16-year-old boy in neighboring Arlington Heights last night. He was also stabbed. I don't even have words to describe how I feel today. We're all just pretty numb. I think the whole community is numb. Nikki Blair has known the boy since he was a small child. Her daughter texted with him shortly before he died last night. Like my last Snapchat was like good night or whatever. It was like 938 and then he didn't open it. The teen's neighbors had heard a scuffle. A couple of boys out there looked like they were horse playing or something, you know, and being a little loud. And, and then, you know, two of them left. His family came home and found him dead in their kitchen. Again, Lachlan police are not saying whether the arrest of Daniel Johnson has anything to do with the murder of Wanda Glenn. Investigators are following up on leads in Glenn's murder and hope to make an arrest. They believe she was targeted because she was disabled and lived alone. Reporting live from the newsroom, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cami? All right, Anjanette, thank you. And anyone with information in these homicides can call Crime Stoppers. That number is 352-3040.